I have a word for somebody. I have a word from somebody for somebody in this ministry moment. I have a word for somebody. I didn't know it was for anybody. Three of you have come to me this morning sharing things. And in a moment, the Lord said, the word you have is for them. You know, because I told you this word is for you. The word I have for you this morning is just stand. Just stand. Somebody say, just stand. stand. Turn to somebody next to you because they need to hear it. Somebody in here needs to hear it. Tell them, just stand, girl. Just stand. Brother, just stand. Listen, the word of the Lord is just stand. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 12 and 13 says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to what? To stand. Somebody say stand. Here's what I want to share with you. As we walk with the Lord, there are times to thrive and there are times to survive. Can I get a witness? Sometimes it's a thriving time and sometimes it's a surviving time. And I need you to know today that there is no shame in your game if you are in a surviving time. Now, we don't live there. We don't stay there. But there are storm seasons that come, and this is not a time to run outside and dance in the yard. This is a time to shut the windows, close the doors, come on now, and batten down the hatches and survive the storm. Get all the flashlights and the can, get everything you need, get your food supply, your generator. This is not a time to be dancing in the driveway. That time will come. And we have had people dancing in our driveway. Some of them are here today. (laughs) We have to know as believers that along the spectrum of our journey, there are three places that we can be. We can grow weary and we can give up. Now, Galatians 6 says, let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season, we shall reap if we do not lose heart. In other words, if you don't quit, you can't lose. Oh, come on, somebody. Am I talking? If you don't quit, all you got to do while you're in your surviving time, listen, is put a guard over your mouth, put a guard over your mind, put a guard over your heart, and refuse to quit. Is this word for anybody? Wave at me if it listen. Because you can lose if you quit. If you grow weary and give up and put up your quit card, the enemy will say, I'll take that. Thank you very much for dropping. You say, I went through this thing and where was God? On the other side of your quit. You get tired. You've had enough. You can't take any more. This ain't right. I'm not putting up with this. This, You get all wrapped up in that and get weary and don't know how to build yourself up in your most holy faith. You will give up. You will quit. And you will lose. But none of God's children... We're born again to lose. We are more than conquerors. Somebody preaching it with, we are more than conquerors. Wave at me if you're more than a conqueror. 
That means conquering, done, been done that, got the t-shirt, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. I'm finished with conquering. I am more than. Conquering is old school. I conquer in style. But there are times when what you do is stand. Having done all, you stand. Being in righteousness, blamelessness, love, faith, hope, all hell is coming against you. What do you do? Come on, somebody. Dig in. Get your balance right. Get low if you need to center your gravity. Go with the flow. Let the storm blow you a little bit. But weebles wobble. They don't fall down. We be weebles. Come on now. Don't make me put it on a shirt. Surviving is a valid place for the Christian to be in a storm. You don't have to explain to anybody why you're hanging on. Amen. Come on now. You don't have to explain to anybody. Oh, you don't have faith? Well, you don't. Oh, no, I got faith, and it's my faith that keeps me from quitting. It's my, you talking about I don't have faith? What you see right now? This called faith, child. I have decided that having done all, what am I going to do? Yeah. I'm going to stand. And if you stand and you don't give up, there will come another time that you will thrive. Amen. But this right here is a standing time. So I, I sent out an email and I said, I've been going through tests. I don't know about any of y'all. And I got an email back from one of our dear sisters who's unable to attend services right now in person. And she writes, yes, pastor, I can attest to that. My season has been a long, long one. And then she says, and I'm holding on to Jesus, the author and perfecter of my faith. I am, am I allowing these things to crush me? She writes, never. God gives me strength to endure the suffering, the pain, the challenges. She's preaching. He tells me I'm loved, I'm special, I'm strong, I'm worthy, I'm not alone, I'm accepted, I'm more than enough. God knows my struggles. He's my hope for tomorrow. He knows when I am strong and when I struggle. Above all, he knows my heart. And so I press through it all, praising him, worshiping him, thanking him glorifying him in humility and contentment yes and taking up my cross each day to follow him i forgive myself i remain calm and joyful i am free god favors me remember god with us emmanuel always doing a good work in us and we'll see it through to completion god's word strengthens us and then she writes be encouraged, Pastor. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Woo! She was on fire. And so I wrote her back. I said, can I share that with the church? She said, yes. And I didn't have this ministry moment when I asked that. But when the Lord gave it to me, that was perfect. So I say, just stand. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. And my word to the church today, just stand. Somebody say to somebody, so, say, just stand. Tell them, just stand. Just stand. Just stand. That's the word of the Lord. I believe that was for somebody. Come on, give God praise if you know.